Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This week, Niantic has announced a lot of exciting news, and we're going to start with the Bug Out event, which of course will mark the debut of Grubbin, which of course it, along with Chagabug and Vikabolt will be available in Pokemon Go for the first time. But of course, neither of these three will be available as Shinies. To, to evolve Grubbin, you need at least 25 Grubbin candies. For Vikabolt, you have to evolve it using 100 Grubbin candies and a magnetic lore, which is the only way Chagabug can evolve into Vikavolt. And of course, Mega Scizor will be making its debut in Mega Raids. And there'll be bonuses for the number of raids done at a certain gym. And of course, Pokemon will spawn within a 300 meteor radius around the gym that hosted that raid for 15 minutes. And from August 10th to the 16th, the following Pokemon will be available out of those spawns. They include Wurmple, Caterpie, Spinarak, Venipede, Krikertot, Weedle, and Lanyba. And of course, this also marks the debut of Shiny Venipede for the first time ever in Pokemon Go. The Wild Encounters will also include Caterpie, Weedle, Ladybug, Spinarak, Yamma, Wormpole, Skitskirt, Krikertot, Venipede, Carablast, Joltik, Shelmet, Grubbin, Dupire, Pineco, Skaroopy, and Dweeble. And of course, Skitskirt, Joltik, Grubbin, and Dupire are not available as shiny. Pokemon as of this recording and of course now on to the raids Paris, Pineco and Joltik will be available in one star raids Venomoth, Pinsir, Fortress and Shuckle will be available in three star raids and of course we're getting a new form of Genesect which is the, trill, the chill drive form and that will be appearing in five star raids and I already mentioned Mega Scizor will be in Mega Raids. And for field research task encounter rewards, the following Pokemon you can catch will be Caterpie, Weedle, Paris, Venonat, Ladybug, Spinarak, Niemus, Silcoon, Cascoon, Ninkata, Volpi, Illamis, Krikertot, all the forms of Burmy, Combi, Sweetle, Venipede, Dweeble, Carablast, Shelmet, Grubbin, Dupire, and Wimpod. Silcoon, Cascoon, Sweetle, Grubbin, Dupire, and Wimpod are not available as shiny Pokemon as of this recording. In other Pokemon news, this weekend is Sapporo Go Fest, the final in-person Go Fest for the summer of 2022. And there will be a global challenge where if you complete the challenge, your reward will be two times Stardust for catching Pokemon during the remainder of the Global Challenge, which will end on August 7th at 8 p.m. local time. And of course, if you complete the Global Challenge, we'll be treated to an enhanced version of the Bug Out event and Galarian Zigzagoo Community Day as the Ultra Unlock bonuses. And there will also be a collection challenge, just like the recent yes. 
go fests from Berlin and Seattle. Also announced this week in the world of Pokemon, yesterday, August 3rd, Pokemon Presents gave us more details on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet versions and the name of the region, as well as some new Pokemon, a regional form of an existing Pokemon, as well as the Pokemon World Championships will also include Pokemon Go, in addition to the Switch Pokemon titles and the trading card game for player versus player battles as well as updates to Pokemon Unite and Pokemon Cafe Mix one more thing I will be streaming again this weekend in the afternoon on Saturday be there as I continue Saints Row the Third. We're gonna have a lot of fun trying to beat that game. And I will also be making other videos about potential adventures I have coming up this month. Stay tuned for details on that. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure!